This is Özge Sayılgan. And I'll be talking about hybridity and agency in interactive comic books as new forms of sequential storytelling in digital media. As a storytelling is a crucial phenomenon for human cultures, it has been shaped with the effect of the dominant communication technologies of its age. In oral culture, which is the most long lasting communicative culture in history, emerged epos to be recorded in human memory with the help of the use of rhyming verses. We can easily imagine that the first stories of human beings were created between the painted walls of ancient caves. In pre-codex era, sequential storytelling has not been started with codex and it's old as history. According to Scott McLeod, for rethinking new forms of storytelling of post-print period, it may be useful to remember the history of sequential stories before the pre-print period. From cave paintings to Egyptian tombs, and from Trojan column to Boyer tapestry, the principle is the same for MacLeod. Moving through time requires moving through space. Scott MacLeod, Aristotle of comics, defines comics as sequential art. Or if further explanation necessary, juxtaposed pictorial and other images in deliberate seconds, as described by Wardrip Queen and Montfort in 2003. The first stage of written culture, shirographic culture, provided various forms of books from papyrus to codex, which is also the most prevalent form of book during the type of typographic culture. Electric and electronic cultural revolution led people to send messages surpassing the physical distance and to adapt stories in audiovisual languages in mass communication. The digital culture created its own specific ways of communicating and to adapt stories with the help of interactivity. Comics developed in codex book form now are open to be reinvented with the tools of new media as suggested by McLeod. The codex book form brings about a new formula. Print Tove presented a landscape of tiny cube sacks, asking readers to leap to new paths every few panels based on a complex protocol. And uh, comics uh, in digital age uh, has emerged in different shapes and concepts uh, like web comics, game comics, hyper comics, interactive comics, and even motion comics as the consequences of a digitalization of medium. Yes. Um, and um, unlike the page of codex book form, a computer's monitor functions as a window and provides an infinite canvas for MacLeod. He says that whether by choosing a path, revealing a hidden window or zooming in, a, in on a detail, there are countless ways to interact with sequential art in a digital environment. Screen replaces pages and engender a new concept, the meta panel, as described by Will, as I, Will Eisner, which can take any size and shape in a given scene. Thus, turning the page as an interaction type with codex book now transforms into various digital types of interactivity, like scrolling, clicking, choosing paths of a labyrinth, or dragging panels from one place to other on digital screen. In this research, depending on interactivity types defined by Sheldon and the spectrum of interactive storytelling defined by Lebowitz and Clark for digital games, 
in different digital comics forms, comic forms, which approach digital games in a sense. In the scope of this research, it's aimed to analyze different types of digital comics. And um, meanwhile, an interactive comic books made by Zarfom Software, framed by Noodle Cake Studios, Florence by Mountain Studio, and R Plug Year as a webcomic made by Burton are selected examples representing different, representing different forms of digital comic books and interactive sequential storytelling to be analyzed uh, comparatively within the scope of this research. New media has offered several opportunities and possibilities for new hybrid forms between different analog media, books, films, comics and games as separate storytelling medium were adapted into to digital, uh, to digital in first place. And later digital media engendered new hybrid forms to tell, see and play with stories. For Sheldon, there exist traditional or linear stories, branching path stories with a linear thinking, web stories which are non-linear but with still strings attached and modular or non-linear stories this kind of degradation is about relinquishing the control over player according to sheldon web story structure is the first truly non-linear storytelling form even it's not a complex one to imagine in their book Interact, titled Interactive Storytelling for Games, Lebovitz and Cloth indicate that there are many types of interactive storytelling forms and they define a spectrum for the most tradition, from the most traditional non-interactive type to the fully player-driven stories. Interactive traditional stories allow players some degree of freedom to interact with the world and characters. The main plot can't be changed in any significant way, says, say, Lebovitz and Clark. In multiple ending stories, players experience a low level of a player-driven storytelling form, and they are free to choose between two or more different endings. In branching path stories, players can make various choices throughout the story for Lebovitz and Clark, some choices may change the story only slightly, others can have an enormous impact, sending the main plot up in entirely different directions. And open-ended stories are defined by Lebovitz and Clark as highly complex branching paths stories. Fully player-driven stories are the most open forms, and usually there is only a very basic main plot. The player's agency in a given environment provides emergent stories totally different from each other and for each play of the game. Our play here, made by Nick Burton as a webcomic, is the first example of our analyze. Our play here is one example of webcomics published weekly on its creator Nick Burton's Instagram account titled Plug Year Comic during COVID-19 pandemic during uh, and during 19 months between May 16th, 2020 and September 3rd, 2021. A line, linear story traditionally drawn and unfolded by its creator, but instead of being printed on paper, it is published in a social media platform and shared with the followers of related Instagram page. At the beginning, Burton shares hand-drawn panels separately from each other in one post and make them view one by one by clicking on the page. And the structure, the, and sorry, but with the post published on January 2022, 20, uh, he starts sharing visuals as one, he starts sharing visuals as one page including various size and numbers of panels, differently from paper, 
a digital page on a social media invites readers easily to comment, to communicate with Burton and to affect directly the content. This may provoke agency and participation in story. And uh, framed made by Noodle Cake Studio in 2014 uh, is a second example of this analyze. Described as a multi award winning noir puzzle game where you rearrange panels of animated comic book to change the outcome of the story. And framed in wise users for a new type of game experience. It is called game, a video game by its, by its creators. If the interactor is able to change the order of the panels in a specific scene, the outcome of that scene will be changed, but the unsuccessful agency will provide a repetition of the scene instead of branching upon new storylines or endings. Thus, the story of Framed can be described as traditionally linear in spite of multitude of interactivity, providing a sense of agency to the player through the gameplay. Now we see a poster of Framed in its title is written that change the order, change the outcome. And uh, frame can be called a game comic as a form. And it has a lin linear storytelling and the role of the player is to turn chaos of each scene into the order. And um, changing the order is obeying uh, the order actually, the order of the game. And changing the outcome is actually to be forced being successful to be successful in an offered gameplay by the text. Instead of wandering the interactive map of a story, players have to emerge the dictated story by the algorithm. So framed as a linear storytelling uh, at the end. The third example is Florence, made by Mountain Studio in 2018. Uh, Florence, uh, in Florence, the story is much more on the foreground if we compare it to the gameplay. Mountain Studio represents Florence as an experience based on a storyline inspired from slice of life graphic novels and web comics. And the um, story of a young woman who met her first love. Uh, his name is Krish, a young cellist she met in a street. And um, the storyline is linear and the actions taken by the player do not change its flow in spite of the multitude of choices to be made by the player through gameplay. But the physical interactivity types are not limited, limited to clicking in Florence. For example, to brush the character's teeth, interactor has to hold and drag the brush up and down like this. Some pages scroll right and left, some are up and down, and it changes uh, during the game. The multitude and diversity of types of interactivity enhance the sense of agency in a linear story. And the last example is Meanwhile, uh, an interactive comic book made by Zarf Home Software in 2018, created by Jason Shiga and adapted to a digital space by Andrew Plotkin, is presented as an interactive comic book. And uh, the physical interaction is accompanied with interaction in story in Meanwhile's web-like structure, an interactive comic containing a multi-path story and explains that it is designed departing from McLeod's principle of the infinite canvas. Meanwhile, 
uh, is repre represented uh, at the beginning like this. Meanwhile, it's not an ordinary comic. You make the choices that determine how the story unfolds instead of one story. Meanwhile, splits off into thousands of different adventures. Most will end in doom and disaster. Only one path will lead you to happiness and success. Please use mouse, keyboard, or controller to move through the story. Whenever the path device, you, the reader, get to choose which panel comes next. And meanwhile, story as beyond being branching type is more like web structure type and allows reader to follow different lines. But the map is not fully driver player driven. The most of the frames are actually a mandatory option to make as a next step. In meanwhile, several types of highlighted choices are used. Some are simply another frame to click. Some are two different objects existing in, in the same panel. Some are labyrinths orienting the choice of a path. Diversific diversification avails the agency and breaks the monotony. Meanwhile, an interactive comic book approach to web-like web stories described by Sheldon as non-linear stories, but with still strings attached. And in Lebowitz and Clark's categorization, it approaches to branching path stories because some choices may change the story only slightly and others can have an enormous impact sending the main plot of an entirely different directions as described by Lebowitz and Clark for branching path stories. Consequently, uh, sequential storytelling found new opportunities to be, to be developed. Co-authorship became a crucial concept to analyze or design an interactive content. With digitality, an adaptation process exceeded the limits of page. New design ideas are shaped around new identities and agencies. As conclusion, digital types of comic books are not all interactive in the sense of content and story. And in spite of the complexity, multitude and diversity of agencies, a story may be traditionally linear. Our plot here, Florence and Frank, are linear in content and story. Only meanwhile, an interactive comic book is Nonlinear in the sense of Sheldon's web structure story and Lebowitz and Clark's branching type story categories. Thank you for listening. Bye.